Hey everyone, uh, I am going to be doing a video. I keep, uh, everybody keeps telling me I need to do videos of the, uh, the things that I'm working on. So, uh, last week I swapped out the, uh, inner fenders. I yanked the inner fenders out from my 2021 Gladiator Rubicon and replaced them with the Quake LED, uh, fender chop kit and love it but uh now that i have torn out the inside as you can see i have no inner fenders so in doing that i uh purchased the moto built inner fenders and i am going to uh install them today Okay, so when you get the fenders, uh, they were actually very well packaged, um, wrapped, completely wrapped up in uh, like cellophane, and then uh, there was cardboard and paper in between all of them so they weren't scratched up. Um, this has just been from me getting it out. There's a little bit there, but um, very clean. None of them were bent out of shape. The box was in good shape and the box was well packed. So came with all the tools. This is, that's the piece that came out of that front corner I was telling you about, but all the, um, comes with all of the nuts and bolts. The one thing that I noticed that it didn't have, and I'll show you as I go through, is a couple washers that you may need. But uh, again, I'll show you that. I just happen to have some 10, number 10 washers, so it worked out. But again, maybe it'll be up to you to, to get those. So what I first did was essentially put this all together. So it comes in two pieces per side. So you got the front side here, and uh, I'm sorry, so you got the back side here, which goes behind the wheel, and then you have basically the inner fender. And these bolt together uh, with the provided nuts, but as you can see, they have the rev nuts on the other side. So that just goes in behind and you bolt them together. So I went ahead and bolted the fender together to start with. Here's the inner fender for what we're working on. And so you can see this is actually already bolted together. The reason I did that is, is because if you're gonna build, you have to put the holes in. I wanted to know where all the holes needed to go. And they were smart enough. You actually have one rib nut that goes into that first hole right there goes into that hole so um, you can bolt it up you can see where the the old inner fender actually had the clip on it and was in there so that's the spot where I was saying you probably need a washer because the uh, 1024 stainless screw that goes in there is too small for that you need a washer to go over it so like I said I had some 1024 washers they weren't included but um, you're probably going to want one of those otherwise it won't uh, won't cinch down onto that hole. That is actually your locating hole. So I'll show you that here real quick. So you can see here, this is where the um, the washer will come in handy. I just you put the washer on there, a number 10 washer. These are 1024 button heads um, with a eighth inch hex tool to use. So we're just gonna bolt those in. That'll go again right into that hole right there. All right, so it's bolted in there. And now, as you can see, it's kind of just hanging here. I got my LED front wire out of the way. So now what you need to do, sorry. Now what you need to do is align this up. And you can see I'm, I'm kind of pushing on this a little bit. You want to get it nice and snug in there. One key is going to be right there because that'll be a riv nut hole. There'll be a riv nut hole right up under there and another one right under there. So I've drilled these two holes, but essentially all I did was mark them. Um, I put everything up and you'll see why I bolted this together so that that's the anchor point. And now I can just shove everything in and get it all nice and um, snug up there where I want it. And that way when I mark the holes, they're in the right spot. The other thing is, 
I didn't mark this third spot because this is at a different angle on here. I just marked these two. I'm gonna drill these two, get the rib nuts in. Once I get everything snug, then I will bend this to where I need it and um, mark it and then tear it all apart again and then drill that one out. Um, I just think that's gonna be cleaner to do it that way as opposed to try and get everything in here and have this spot here because now you can see this is all separated up here. So I want these in first and then I'll do this front one. Okay, so um, again, I just marked it with a, uh, because I have a dark color, I use silver Sharpie, uh, makes it easy to see. And um, then drill the holes. Each of these you'll notice actually has the holes uh, elongated. So it doesn't have to be exact. It's just gotta be in pretty good alignment. Okay, I'm gonna get the other rib nut in. I'll show you that one in the tool. Okay, so here's the tool I got from Harbor Freight uh, as a Harbor Freight Prime customer, whatever the heck they call it, at 25 bucks a year. I got it for 39 bucks, and it came with a bunch of different um, a different adapters for the different size rib nuts. Mine, of course, was needed for a 1024 rib nut. Drilling these out, it's a 1964th drill bit. I got lucky and had one of those from who knows when, but um, 1964th drill bit to drill out the hole for this. Put this in, and then you're using a 1024 uh, adapter that comes in the kit for the rib nut tool. So how this works is essentially you put this on, spread this apart, and you'll see the rib nut actually just screws all the way on there. Trying here one-handed and recording at the same time, sorry. So I have the rib nut on there, and then as you squeeze down on this, inside the hole that you've drilled, this will squeeze this down on this knurls and tighten it up into the hole. Tools are very handy. It's one of those things not everybody has. There's a million different ways to do it. I know people have used washers and extra nuts, and just this and that and the other, but this works more consistently than using one of those. And again, for, for 40 bucks and not having a screw stuck in your fender, uh, well worth it in my opinion. So again, once you've got that screwed on, when I squeeze these two together, it's gonna suck that down inside the hole. So I'm gonna do that. All right, uh, so I got the phone turned around here. This is the hole that I drilled right there. It's hard to do that backwards. So there's the hole that I drilled. Here's my rib nut tool. I've put the rib nut already on. I'm going to put it up in that hole. You need to push upwards and then squeeze together. And then from there you'll see this will unscrew it out of there. Now I have a rib nut that's not going to move. Harbor Freight, I'll put the link in the comments. Good tool. It's actually well made, made by company Doyle apparently, but uh, very solid. Not not cheap in any way. This will be a this will be a long time tool. So now what I can do, I have these two in. I'm going to go ahead and put the fender back on so I can get the I'll mount up the bottom, this one and and the other one that I already put the rib nut in. And then I can do the last two. I'll mark the one that's right here. And then I'll mark the one that's on the other side that I pointed out in the beginning. And then I'll drill those two out, put the rib nuts in, and we should be close. Okay, so those two are in. You can see this is a really, really nice fit. Um, that one's in. So now what I need to do is mark that one. And you'll see here, I have these other two up. This is why I didn't mark this one, because I wanted to be able to bend this up into where I wanted and mark it that way without having to worry about how close I was gonna be with the others. Because that's gonna be pretty, pretty tight up there. It needs to be kind of 
manhandled a little bit to mark that. So, so just as a note, as I'm drilling these, you see here, I have a absolutely tiny hole. It's so much easier when you start with a, you know, you mark it and set it, do a set with either, you know, an old drill bit or a punch and set a hole so that your drill bit doesn't wander. You can see just because I've done this with the tire still on, it was hard to get the exact angle. So even with a, with a punch mark on it, I still had to kind of fiddle with it just a little bit, but you're less likely to get it wrong and have that wander and be the whole be off than to do it with a very small drill bit. Just take your time, go nice and slow. Don't try and jam it up in there and, and have your drill on high. Um, go nice and slow, get it exactly where you want it, and then drill through with a small one. Now you can go through with a, the 1964 and you don't have to worry about the drill bit walking off. You don't have to worry about it being in the wrong spot. So just a, just a little tip as you're drilling these holes. All right, so one last thing we have to do here. There's another bracket that comes with this. I don't know that you necessarily need this. However, modal built tends to overdo things. Thank you, Dan, for that. But this is another bracket, essentially, goes right there. So it's the rib nuts already in the bracket. You can see up there for the hole into the fender. And then it comes with a self-tapping screw to go into this hole. So we'll do that. And this one should be finished up. That's that. Okay, well, it's in, and I think it looks fantastic. Very well made. Um, again, Motobilt did an excellent job with fit and finish. Um, you know, all of these nuts and bolts were spot on. I mean, not even a need for washers of any kind. You didn't have to wallow out a hole. Everything fit exactly perfect. So they're doing great work. Um, again, you got to drill the rib nut holes. Um, you know, me not looking at it prior, I thought it was a bolt on thing. That's okay. You just need to know that going into it. So um, just as a recap, what I did was bolted the two pieces together, used this down here as my anchor spot since it had a rib nut and a hole there, put it up there, and then got everything where I wanted it in order to mark and drill the holes. Drilled all the holes, put it on, and then last is this bracket. It's got a rib nut already in the fender, and then you have a, a self-tapping screw that goes into the frame. All in all, I think it looks fantastic. Hope that video worked for you. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.